So Stella is a very wonderful software. It has so many magical powers from creating folders to sorting out thousands and thousands of files literally within minutes. So you can check uh, a couple of videos about what it can do, quite a number of Excel files, sorting through them, arranging your files for you. And it's doing massive stuff for analysis, a lot of work that can be done to produce charts, to produce maps, to produce even documents. Very powerful software. But the greatest challenge people have is the cost. It seems to be so scary, but you can get it for a very low amount. And I'm just going to show you that in the next couple of minutes. So I will just go on straight to the website here, and that is where you get the information. So, I mean, you can see it clearly here written. It's $48. So the first thing you, you can see there, I said four things you need to know. You can use it for six months. Another thing is it's actually meant for students. So you see that here. And of course, you know, you have to get a proof of your student's status. So you may be an undergraduate student, master's student, PhD student. So your university ID card is required. And please note it's a single uh, user license. So for six months, you have that. But what's interesting is if you look even for the um, basic edition, you know, the standard edition, you are also paying for the standard, I mean, basic ed edition. You are able to have up to 2,048 variables. I mean, look at your academic work, look at your research work, look at all the analysis you do. You do not need uh, that much. So, and then up to 2.4 billion observations, really, how many times do you get up to that? Then it's already fast, you know, and then you use about 20 seconds for the basic edition. Now, if you wanted a higher edition, which is called the standard edition, you will have to pay 125, uh, US dollars for six months. So I will really encourage you, if you had some work you had to do for six months, you're a student, maybe part-time student, full-time student, but you have an, a university ID card, you have an ID card, you, and you're from a developing country, you know, so note that you should be able to just apply. But then you may be interested in the annual one too as a student. What's interesting is that you have here for $89 for a full year, $145 for standard edition, and then you know, for the other uh, two core and four core processing speed, you have up to $320 US dollars per, year, per year. And I love this, even as a student, you get access to the perpetual license. So I would really advise you right now to buy it. What it means is that as long as the, the I mean, the licenses exist or still exist, with 220 us dollars you have it for the next three years four years five years even when you have graduated from school and like i mentioned the basic edition is not really bad the number of variables it can take you understand except you will now be doing a lot of intense uh reviews and analysis now i understand some data can be in what we call the wide format but there's a way to work around all that you know so um think about it 2.1.2 um 1.14 i mean 2.14 billion observations and it's fast so it's a good start but if you think you will be needing more i mean you'll be using more variables more observations then you could go for the two core series but honestly if you are okay with this and it's not too much in your budget then you go on to the next one i mean you're not you know you're not having enough you can go for 220 but if you think you can afford the 370 us dollars that's also fine and this is for life so you can see like a 10 year investment say i'll just be dedicating 40 40 dollars for the next 10 years to you something you know just see it that way but the software is amazing as i had mentioned a lot of things it can do just go on the site go to the teaser section go to the tip section a lot of massive information it can help you generate, you know, producing maps, producing charts, producing different kinds of visualizations that are very interesting. So it's very important that you go through and just tell me what you think in the comments. The link to this page is in the description. Please note for developing countries and for students. Don't forget, you will need your university ID card. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.